What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video here. We're back to Chiaki 4 deck since we've got our HDR update for the PS5 and streaming that and the games in HDR. Now even though I'll go over a lot of settings and things in this video showing you the update, there's a full guide that's been updated recently on the channel for setting up PS Remote Play. So if you don't know how to use Chiaki 4 deck, you don't have it yet, you might want to go check that out and I'll put a link in the description. I am running the updated 1.5 version here over on the Discovery Store which gives us that HDR capable update so let's get back into game mode and we'll go over some of the stuff with this app now the first thing is going to be the control scheme I have here now I've opted to change over to mutes Chiaki 4 deck this happens to be a friend of mine who tweaked the original um, more official layout to add some different shortcuts and whatnot to the back paddles uh, of the Steam Deck, which makes it quite useful. So we'll go over those here in the video as well, but I highly recommend using that or the official one I show in the other guide that I talked about having a link for. Now you might want to go into settings and edit your layout and check that your L5 is on a long press. That way it's a little better for when you are shutting down your stream and putting your PS5 back to sleep, which I'll show you as well. Now getting into Chiaki 4 deck, the settings have been changed a little bit here. So now we're going to have a tab over here on the left that's going to have our stream settings. And we're going to want to set that up for the new H.265 HDR PS5 only. And we're also going to use the placebo there with high quality. And I'm going to use VAAPI for my uh, decode method up there um, for myself and others that have been testing this out tends to be the best setup for now. Vulcan is pretty rough and it's not needed necessarily for your HDR. Now that my PS5 is ready to go, we'll go ahead and get connected here with Shiaki and check this out. Now we are streaming in HDR and something I've mentioned in other cloud and streaming videos. If you're on the OLED here, which you should be when you're streaming HDR, you're going to have 90 hertz for your screen. And you might want to knock that down to 60 as it will smooth out your frame time and make the 60 FPS capped streams run a bit better on the Steam Deck rather than leaving the 90 hertz. All right, let's go ahead and get moved over into some games and we'll check this out. Now we'll start off with some Spider-Man 2 here and I'll show you those controls. So on the back paddles here, we got R4, R5, L4, L5. So I'll press uh, R4 on the back, the top paddle. And that's going to do a zoom feature here on the screen. And then the bottom paddle is going to do a stretch feature. So if you did want to fill your OLED screen here, your 1610, even though it is a 16:9 ratio from the PS5, you could do a zoom or stretch here with shortcuts, which is really easy with those back buttons. And L4, L5, we've got our mic for muting here. And then if you do that long press L5 we were talking about, it brings up shutting down the stream and you can put your console to sleep or not, whatever you decide to do there. So those are really handy. And of course, our trackpads are still doing the PlayStation button which is the left trackpad here and our right trackpad still works as the actual trackpad on the PlayStation controller with full functionality for all swipes and clicks and all that kind of stuff here. Now getting into the games, I was very curious what the performance would be like, but myself and others have worked together the past couple days with a few Steam Deck OLEDs to test this out and get it working really well. And HDR seems to be working decently. So we've got HDR in game for all these and we've got HDR for our stream. My PlayStation um, is hooked up to the TV, but I've tested this with the TV on and off and it's worked fine for me, though I've heard some people say they've had issues when the TV was off and HDR not working. Uh, that could have something to do with type of TVs or settings. But for me, so far, everything's worked just either way. I and mean, it looks great here on the OLED screen. Uh, I'm really surprised at how good this streaming and HDR really has been here and how smooth things have been for the frame rate. Of course, with remote play or cloud, you're going to lose some frames. You're going to have some skips, but this ultimately was pretty smooth to play uh, without a lot of hiccups and hitches and problems. Uh, as I bounce from game to game, checking out the different HDR and seeing if there were any performance issues when it came to just moving around and getting those skips and jumps. If I go to Vulcan, I really wind up down in the lower 50s and bouncing back up quite often. Frame times are pretty horrible. So for me, that hasn't been viable. But this setup here, the settings I showed in the video, have been giving me almost a solid 60 FPS HDR with game and stream. And I'm able to run this at 16.9 or 16.10, stretch it or zoom it. And it's been a great experience. Now, getting into things like combat and latency, again, you're going to have some of that when it comes to remote play. And I was curious with HDR how that would really work out if it added too much. And I ran basically out of box right we're running auto 15,000 here on my bitrate. i haven't adjusted anything else either to really tweak these settings 
And my PS5 is actually on Wi-Fi instead of LAN right now because I had made some changes. So this wasn't even the best case scenario, but my input latency was still pretty good. As you can see here, it's certainly not perfect and I could dial things in to make it even better. But even with HDR active on everything, I still got a really good solid experience, which is something I was surprised at. This is definitely my favorite way to stream and play my PS5 now when I'm doing remote play. And I think it's all in all a pretty decent experience here and a great update for Chiaki 4 Deck as well here for the Steam Deck. And ultimately, again, I think this is just my favorite way to remote play. I've used the G Cloud, um, my, both my Steam Decks, the LCD and the OLED, the Ally, the Go, uh, the PlayStation Portal. I've used everything. And with this update, especially in HDR, it's definitely my favorite way to stream my PS5 right now. But anyways, guys, HDR update for Chiaki 4 Deck. Uh, really good here, working really well for me, and I wanted to highlight it. Thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.